I'm here in Washington, D.C., where there was a lot of promise of bipartisanship, of cooperation between Republicans and Democrats as President Obama took over as president this past January. In fact, let me show you some data that we have from just after he was elected in November. We asked, do you think that Obama will, in fact, be able to make a sincere effort to work with Republicans in Congress? And 80 percent of Americans said yes at that point. We also said, do you think the Republicans will make a sincere effort to work with Obama and the Democrats? That was at 62 percent. We also said, will the Democrats uh, make a sincere effort to work with the Republicans? And that was at 59 percent. So that was fairly positive marks just after Obama was elected. Fast forward to today. We just updated these with slightly different wording, and all of them are down. But Obama's still at the top of the list. You can see the number in front of you. 60 percent of Americans say that Obama has, in fact, made a sincere effort to work with Republicans in Congress, certainly down from 80 percent, but still well above half, particularly strong when we compare it to views of the efforts that the Republicans and Democrats have made to work with each other and for the Republicans to work with Obama. Look at that Republican number. That's now at 33 percent for the sincere effort to be bipartisan. Democrats do just slightly better at 38 percent. So Americans certainly have soured on their views that perhaps Congress will try to increase its bipartisan efforts. They've also soured a little on Obama. However, Obama is still well above Congress when Americans are asked how much of an effort all of these entities or players are making at trying to be bipartisan and cooperate with one another. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, Editor-in-Chief of the Gallup Bulletin.